You know, this has been a, a long, troubling, trying year for not just the city of Cleveland, but particularly uh, for the Rice family. And I know that uh, they have been pushing for some closure in regards of the, to the criminal side of this. But with this closure, I uh, know that uh, the deep pain they must feel, uh, even with the closure. So I want to say to the family, the mother in particular, that we're sorry for their loss. Uh, and, but, and we know that it's been a long process, but we do not intend to add to uh, whatever uh, anxiety or agony that they uh, feel in terms of the process. Uh, we are going to reconvene our Critical Incident Review Committee. That committee will look at this incident from start to finish. That committee will also take a look at any and all information that's going to be provided to them by either the Cuyahoga, Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Office, the Grand Jury, or the County Prosecutor's Office in their review of this incident. Once that's completed, the results of that review will be forwarded to my office, at which time I'll take a look at that, and then we will conclude this process. Both of the officers are and will remain on restricted duty. They've been on restricted duty since this incident happened. That's part of our process, not to allow officers involved in critical incidents to go back out there into the fray. Um, they will remain on restricted duty until we complete the administrative process.